Hello friends, uh, good morning. I am Vipadre Demaya from uh, VVSM Academy. Today I would like to divert your attention towards uh, the carbohydrates, particularly what is the function of carbohydrates and the components of carbohydrates in the forthcoming classes. Let us discuss today. Well friends, uh, I have worked in the marine wing here like the south of India. The ship is uh, Samudra Manthan and uh, this is my experience. Uh, I am recollecting the great memories of my esteemed department. Well friends, earth is very precious. Let us save earth. Save plants, save earth. Well friends, now Starch is a polysaccharide consists of two components, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose is a polysaccharide made up of alpha D glucose units bonded to each other through alpha 1 4 glycosidic bonds. The two components of starch making up approximately 20 to 30 percent because of its tightly packed helical structure. Amylose is uh, more resistant to digestion than other starch molecules and is therefore an important form of resistant starch. In contrast, amylose contains very few alpha-1-6 bonds or even none of this causes amylose to be hydrolyzed more slowly but have higher density and be insoluble. Coming to the second point is uh, amylopectin is a water soluble polysaccharide and highly branched polymer of a glucose units uh, found in plants. It is one of the two components of starch, the other being amylose. Glucose units are linked in a linear way with alpha 1 4 glycosidic bonds. Branching takes place with alpha 1 6 bonds occurring every 24 to 30 glucose units resulting in a soluble molecule that can be quickly degraded as it has many endpoints onto which enzymes can attach. This is uh, the important uh, structure of uh, starch composed by the glucose molecules and the structure of starch particularly glycosidic linkage which is nothing but a oxygen bridge that is uh, uh, you know which is nothing but uh, oxygen bridge as I told you this is very important structure of starch. As I discussed both amylose and amylopectin are found in starch granules amylose and amylopectin are both composed of our D glucose units. This is a striated chain structure and this is branched chain structure. This is branched, this is straight chain. This is very important from the point of view. Now, this alpha D glucose units are arranged in a straight chain structure in amylose and alpha D glucose 1 for glycosidic bonds are arranged in branched in the amylopectin. Both are important units in the carbohydrate, particularly starch. Amylose is a polysaccharide made up of alpha D glucose units bonded to each other with one for glycosidic bonds. 30% of because of its high, tightly packed helical structure. This is the helical structure, a depiction of the chair-like conformation of glucose, a boat-like structure with both ends of the exogen bent in the same direction also exists. The, this is the structure of amylose chair form. This is the structure where the glucose molecule joined in 1,4-alpha-1,4 alpha linkages. In barely amylose molecules are typically range from 500 to 5000 glucose residues. In this structure, glucose diagram with carbons numbered in this diagram 1 to 6 that is uh, implied anywhere in a line end bends and are intersects with another line except 
if it ends in a letter or letters. Hydrogen is equal, that is hydrogen and oxygen and the carbon atoms. <laughs> this is the structure of amylosand, amylopectin. Amylose is an unbranched chain polymer of D-glucose units and dark blue-black color when iodine solution is added. It is less soluble in water. It does not form a gel when hot water is added. It constitutes about 20 to 30 percent of the starch and hydrolyzed with the amylose and beta amylase enzymes completely. It has one for glycosidic linkage, a straight chain structure, a great storage system of energy and it has uh, 300 several thousand units of glucose. This is the structure of glucomidose. Thank you for listening friends. See you again in the next class. This is VVSM Academy. I am Virabhadraya Demaya. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe my dear friends.